Guys, I thought I'd show you the easiest way to use Ruby Sketch. It's a quick start guide and uh, how to find models and how to load them very, very quickly to increase the speed. Now, the first thing to do is register. If you haven't already, then uh, register. If not, log in. So, Andrew, password, remember me, log on. That way, next time you log in, it will remember you automatically. Okay, now basically Ruby Sketch has a whole heap of different file formats, DWG, DXF, Archicad, Revit. For this purpose I'm going to use Revit and I'm going to select some, say, bathroom products. I'm going to go, go. Now what it's doing is searching the model, the library, and it's going through and finding bathroom products that are actually in Revit. Now you'll notice the little green tab over there, it says RVT. So if you wanted to download, say, a... Uh, toilet okay I've downloaded the toilet and if you wanted to download say a basin download a basin okay now I'll just minimize this screen here now you'll notice that I've got a toilet and basin here all I need to do is simply drag and drop them straight into the Revit model now what it's doing is upgrading the model at the moment so that uh, if you're using a, a later version of Revit it'll automatically upgrade the model as per Revit does, and as soon as it stops thinking, it will put the basin straight in. Okay, so I can put that there and put a placeholder at the moment. I can move it around later, and I can go back to Ruby Sketch and grab the toilet. Same again, it'll upgrade. So if you're using an earlier version of Revit, it will, and you can still use, say, Revit 2009. And the toilet will come in here, just the it out. Yeah. And the toilet seat. Okay, you'll notice all the beam information and everything is in here as well. So what I've done is I've loaded the models straight into my model, simple drag and drop. Look, I think that'll uh, help you guys out a fair bit, but uh, if you've got any questions, uh, give us a contact us on info at rubysketch.com. Cheers.